Hey everyone, welcome to another video of crochet fun and I want to show you this book and kind of give my first impressions. I also made one of the patterns here and I shared that in the what's on my hook video. I will link it here. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe, give it a like, leave a comment. I would love to have you here. So this is called My Crochet Wardrobe, 15 Wonderfully Rareable and On-Trend Crochet Garments by Cassie Ward. The reason that I picked up this um, book is first of all because I am very interested in making crochet clothes and not just, you know, items for like home decor, like blankets and pillows. But I really find it challenging to find something that fits kind of my style and my aesthetics. Um, there's plenty out there. It's just sometimes hard to find it because there's so much. I'm not really into like the triangle lacy shawls, which I see a lot of. Maybe I will get into that at some point. But I'm kind of more into basic but beautiful um, items to wear. And Cassie Ward, she has designs in almost every Inside Crochet magazine, which I really, really enjoy. And her designs are always really fun. So actually compared to the ones in Inside Crochet, the designs here are quite kind of classic and also very muted in color. But um, I think, you know, you could kind of play around with the colors. So I'll show you how the book uh, looks. Uh, I think the, you know, the photography is really nice and it does have kind of that modern feel, which is, I would say, a bit challenging sometimes when it comes to crochet. It's sometimes, depending on the type of stitches and yarns and colors, it can look very, um, like a granny, which is not bad. It just kind of depends what you're looking for. So there are how many projects to 17 projects. She uses only yarn made by this brand, which I can't pronounce. And uh, I do like that uh, because this brand is available to me. Some of it I can find in local stores in Austria. I'm in Austria and Europe. And then uh, almost everything else I can also find in stores in Germany and even my local store that is like 10 minutes away from my home. I live in the countryside, so there's not a lot going on here. But my local store does carry, uh, I'm pretty sure they carry the Katona and the Stonewashed, or the Stonewashed XL or both, I'm not sure. Uh, and then the other things I can order online. So I do like it that, you know, it's like one brand. If you find a place that uh, has it, you can order there. You don't need to shop around in like 10 different online uh, shops to source the yarns that she uses. Um, yeah, so there's like a basic explanation of, of the stitches and then some tips about tension, joining, weaving in ends, uh, all that. And I'll do kind of a quick flip through so you can get an idea of the project. This is the bubble top jumper. Uh, this looks fantastic and I actually really really like the yarn. She uses the Stonewashed XL for this. Uh, the color she uses is Larimar and um, yeah it's really I'm currently making like a, a shirt with is this this color? Could be with the, not the XL, just a regular stone washed, and I, I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, would work well. It looks lovely, and I do hope to make this one day. And there, you get plenty of pictures from like different, um, you know, directions of the garment. This one, um, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I'm not sure. I like the style of it, maybe in a different color, but this color is really doing nothing for me. Uh, this cardigan is really cute. It's a star cardigan. And yeah, really cute. I think this could be a fun item to have in your wardrobe. Very 
useful. I live in a, you know, in Europe we have kind of Central Europe classic four season weather, so uh, I think this would be a really nice item to have. Loop stitch jacket. Yeah, this is a bit too Muppets for my taste, but if this is your jam, then go for it. This is the Balloon Stitch Maxi Cardigan. There, I can only imagine how much this thing weighs if you do the like full length. She uses like 34 uh, balls of yarn for the small and 34, <laughs> let's see, <laughs> 34 times 50. How much does this sweater weighs? So it weighs around a kilo and a half which is interesting. Um, it does have a cool design, but I think maybe with something kind of more, I don't know, fluffy or something, maybe that would work well. Uh, flower poncho. Uh, this I really like. I think probably some of it, the reason that I like it has to do with the color choice. I think the color works really, really well for this design. Kind of, kind of has like a granny, vintagey feel to it. Um, but I do feel it can also be kind of modernized. I mean with jeans and like a white t-shirt or a white shirt, I think that's a nice combo. So this is the project that I made and I kind of altered it. Some of it I just had to alter because she has here five flowers and for me it was enough with four. I talk about it in the what's on my hook video. Um, I also, it didn't work for me, the place where she starts the increases for the underarm area. So I'm not sure if this is like a repeating thing that I will have to adjust in other patterns as well. I don't know. This is the loose leaf jumper. And this one also looks like a cute item to have. Uh, the pattern is kind of, you know, lacy and kind of open, but um, it doesn't look too granny-like. I think maybe this in a super bright color would be fun. You know, you can put it over like a white tank top. I think that would be really cute. This is what I want to do next. This is the Sunshine Shrug. And she uses the uh, Eliza wool, uh, not wool, like yarn for it, which is, it's a polyester yarn. I ordered one to try it. And it's just lovely. It's so soft and beautiful and she uses the color gentle apricot uh, which is pretty but this is definitely much more my uh, color and it doesn't say the name it just says 225 so I think I will pick up more balls to make this one uh, she uses a four and a half millimeter crochet hook which is the size I like to use and for the medium um, the medium, I'll probably do the medium size. Uh, I need six balls, so five more, which is, you know, it's not like a huge expense. And again, I think this is one of these things that can be super, super useful. So much so that I'm considering maybe I should do it in a more boring color. But then, is that me? <laughs> I don't know, maybe something like a powder pink or like a taupe color. I think that would be lovely. And I do like the the look of the pattern. It looks really, really nice. So kind of like a basic item, but still with a nice texture to it. This is the basket stitch cropped jacket. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, it could be that my issues are the color, maybe with like a fun color and then a really cute uh, button or I don't know, something. Not sure I'm liking this. I do kind of like the shape of it, but I don't know, something there is not working for me. Not sure. This is a cute project. This is a boho fringe dress, and again, she's using 100% cotton yarn for it. Um, for the small size, it's 10 balls, and then the large, the extra large is 13 balls, so not too many. Uh, the pattern is really nice. And I actually uh, tried it in a different yarn that I have that, and I really, really enjoyed making it and I really like the way that it looks. But I might try with her yarn and uh, I don't know if I'll do a dress, but you could just cut it and make like a fringed shirt. I think that would be really cute for summer. 
Um, and again, you know, over like a tank top or a swimsuit or something like that, I think that could be really cute. I do like the shape of this. It looks really pretty. The lace back jumper. Uh, this one, yeah, is uh, you need a four millimeter hook and a four and a half millimeter hook. I do love the color that she used, uh, but this is she used a yarn with like alpaca and wool, which I don't use, so I will have to find something without uh, animal derived <laughs> uh, products in it. But I do like the design, and you can wear it. Um, you know both sides because the back or the front has this kind of lacy pattern So I think that's a fun project and Yeah, it's it's a pretty sweater The diamond jumper dress again. You could just make it shorter and do this as a sweater You can even do like a really cropped sweater if you took this line and did it here um, I like the way that it looks. I think the sh the sleeves look really really nice and yeah, again, this needs a lot of yarn. So for the small, she's using eight balls of 50 gram uh, Merino soft yarn. Again, I'll have to find a synthetic or um, you know plant-based alternative, but it does look like a really, really pretty sweater that uh, would be great for winter. Really lovely. Textured roll neck poncho. So for this one, I think this is the kind of thickest yarn she uses. This is the Chunky Monkey yarn, which is uh, acrylic, but it's really, really beautiful, soft acrylic. Uh, so far from what I've tried, I'm waiting for my first order from Ice Yarns. Uh, I hear good things about their acrylic, like their premium acrylic. Uh, so far from what I've tried, the Chunky Monkey has been the softest. This color is beautiful. It's called Heather. You can see it's kind of a muted mauve color. And yeah, for the small and medium size, you need 13 balls. And this looks really cute. Uh, I might do that at some point. That looks nice. The Josie top, um, yeah. I like the design, not sure about the bottom, but you know, you could switch it for like a simple ruffle or something like that. I do like ruffles. And um, yeah, it looks kind of like a basic shape that uh, would be nice to make. And that is it. So I hope you find this useful. I hope you enjoyed this. I will link you to this book below and to the uh, writer, Cassie Ward, if you want to check out her designs. She has really, really fun designs. And yeah, she has like an Etsy shop where you can buy her designs if you don't want to buy the book or in addition to because she has there are more designs that are in this book. That is it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye bye.